I have a plan and everything and I still feel so disorganized. I super apologize, you guys. Um, let's do the start of stream things. Nails are at least naked. Nails are ready to go. So that is one thing that I did get accomplished, which I wanted to. Like, so that we weren't just sitting on stream dealing with my cuticles for, well, not hours on end exactly, but, uh, like, I don't know. I, I actually, I should look and see. It probably doesn't take me as long as it feels like. I'm um, gonna do a tweet and a discord. Um, and of course, if you are in the future on YouTube and you love nail art, you can subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And uh, this is what we're gonna be working today. And if you would like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Amethyst, Sun, and Luke, hello. Um, okay, tweet. Don't forget to finish what I'm doing just because there are people here to talk to now. Okay, hold on. Got a Discord. Got to let the people know that the thing that I said was happening or like 15 minutes ago is actually happening now. 15 minutes-ish, right? Um... Okay, Discord is done. I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I am. I'm feeling. Uh, I I did not sleep well, so I know I'm sleepy. Thanks to Bainey. He's 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 such a little shit in the morning. Radius was so mean to me, Amethyst. Hey, Brill. Radiance was so, so mean to me. Okay, um, nails are naked. We have to decide between, between these two, which, oh, that's actually kind of a good, you see this color shift here? So this one goes from kind of like a fuchsia into almost like a orangish, and then into oh there there it was the yellow and green like at the far end i'm really having trouble capturing on camera you can see it right there in the corner though that green is part of the flash and then this one goes from almost like a coppery bronzy into more of like a yellowy green and then into like a deeper green and you can see the blue in the corner there a little bit I'm leaning toward this one. I think this is, by the way, um, Harmony and Incredible. And they are from the same collection as Believe. Um, which means they are magnetic. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Get you some uh, orange juice, Amethyst. Yeah, you guys. Like they're both nice. But I'm I'm really feeling this one. Hey DBD. DBD, it's almost it's almost also a tongue twister. <laughs> or I just can't talk, which is also quite a possibility. Um I'm also like just kind of eyeballing my nails in the camera. I, I filed them a little bit and I felt kind of like I was rushing. Do they look okay? They look okay. Camera, are you going to focus? They're a little bit dry. I just, uh, I just took off the other polish and gave them some attention and then, um, got stream started. So which do you guys prefer? Or do you have a preference or do you just like both of them? Like I do. Like I said, the other, the color shifts are a little challenging to get on camera, but yeah, I think we're going with this one. Not that the other one would be black, but bad, blad, 
be blad. It does feel a little bit more fall, I think, Amethyst. <clears throat> Oh, and also, because it worked really good last time. Is it not up here? It might be in here. Um, oh. Yeah. Because, like, I don't regret putting it over the last one at all. Which, the last one... Is, is that in here, too? Um, whoa. There it is. This is the previous one we did. Which is, like, turquoise and purple. Which you guys know is my shit. Ooh, yeah. There we go, camera. Ooh, camera. Thank you, camera. Like this, this was just a, a wonderful experience. I enjoyed this. Like super, super galaxy vibes. This might be a little bit also galaxy-ish, but like these colors in particular just were like amazing. <clears throat> okay. Um we okay also need black as we learned these magnetics are quite sheer i don't know if that's good or bad amethyst i mean i'm sure he's tired but hopefully he's not overly energetic this evening <laughs> or what counts for overly energetic when you have a cold so we're gonna do black then we're gonna do the magnetic and then we're gonna put hollow on top of it oh yeah Ooh, ooh, look at that. Yeah. Come on, focus, camera. You guys see that green? Like, it's got a, a really dramatic color shift. The green comes after the yellow. It goes like fuchsia, reddish, orangish, goldish, green. <clears throat> okay, things that we need include a paper towel. Oh, no. No, no. We're not doing this first. I almost forgot. I almost forgot, you guys. Um, I'm not, like, thrilled to death with these, but they're all right for the cheap, pri cheap price that I paid. The nail foils came. Um, so, like, it, it listed the dimensions on there. I'm like, okay, those are smaller than my other ones but I don't know exactly how big my other ones are I suppose I should have figured that out first but all eight of these little boxes only cost me like $20 yeah the haul um should I well let me let anybody interested in this let me know I'll find the link for them again so there's like two boxes that I really really wanted and then the rest of them were cool too. So I was like, I, I might as well do this. So my other rolls, oh, there are some right here. Come in these little individual like containers. These come in this like box. And I mean, you can already see like it's a shorter roll which is fine I mean it's still like plenty long enough for a nail or wide enough to do like two nail like side by side depending on how you're cutting it if you're not you know cutting it into a shape or something but so these two are like a rainbow in these finishes like this is that that like shattered glassy effect which I have a couple of but this is like every every color Man, this looks just like the tape that we used. Camera, hello. Um, and this orange, I really like this orange. Um, yeah. So I really liked that. And I really liked this one. Oh, these little, I, I kind of like these little boxes, but I mean, they're, 
not all of them are sitting in here as nicely as these two sets are and these two sets are for the most part very consistent um the rolls all are like the same height and everything but some of the other boxes like these are already short and the ones they're like in there and they're like even shorter so it's not like the super highest quality ever but like these are the two boxes that i mostly mostly wanted and they are in in light nice condition like i can tell they're not super long rolls can you see in there they're not like the super longest roll but like you don't need necessarily a ton i mean if you're doing like a whole manicure that's all like the same thing then you're going to need more than if you're doing like a design um but yeah like i wanted and i was looking on uh dollar dollar nail art or dollar nail foil .com. oh beanie hi and like they didn't have these they like they had a lot but they didn't have like a set like this so i was like well let's just try this it's pretty cheap this one yeah that one i actually already have one like you guys have seen that before and not actually now that i'm looking closely at this these are not all the same pattern as i thought they were but there's a whole bunch of see because look at this okay i need i suppose i might have been fooled by the picture because i was fooled right now but look at the bottom row is like the circles and this one is like the circles this is a slightly smaller circle pattern and then this is these three are like slightly shattered with circles on them they still go but they're not as matchy matchy as these which I feel like these would really be the ones if I were to go for like actually stained glass looking nail foils. Like do some shit with this. Okay. Those those are the two I'm most excited about. Then there's like six more and some of them are just kind of like whatever. Like they're jumbled together. And there are some duplicates too. Of course, actually this green here is not the same. This red is a duplicate. This green is not with the shatteredy pattern sh shatteredy and then this is like an ombre shattered one but yeah these two greens are different hmm i might move them around a little bit too because this is another one that is actually a duplicate it's another one of this Ooh, and another one of this no wait that's the one that okay i'm confusing my own self okay so we have like two duplicates in this one and some of these are like not super different but these actually are all they're like ombre metallic ones Ooh, there's a pretty good shot this one's really pretty <clears throat> yeah it's a it's a set of eight so See, now, like, these ones, they're just, like, not rolled in there as nicely. They're just, like, pew! Like, starting to poke out. But we have, like, some ombre in the circular pattern. This one is actually ombre. See, this way? Which I'm not sure how I feel about that because... Well, oh, this is just unfolding. This, oh, this one I just noticed. It's, like, a diagonal. Of rainbows and you want to be careful the reason like I, I think I kind of prefer the little vials is because you got to be careful when you're dealing with these if you damage them you you're gonna damage how it looks on the nail too and these little things are not the easiest to cram them back into once they decide they're poking out so then this one is more like a straight oh a straight rainbow but it's again in that little that little uh like like a uh, kind of like a bulk bo what how do you pronounce it bokeh bokeh the camera technique where it's like in focus and out of focus and there's like little little splotches little round droplets i think it's bokeh like as if it were made out of flowers but i'm not 100 percent sure i recall having this exact same struggle when i oh for when i did a manicure like that oh this is okay this is actually kind of interesting though it's like the the round pattern but then it's like with flowers and shit 
I'm not in love with that TBH, but I mean, I didn't expect to be in love with every single one of them. No. In fact, you guys want to compare? Should we, should we bust up the page? Bust up. Pull up. I don't know why I said that. We're gonna bust it up here, you see? Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm closing this before any others of them decide that they're fucking... And even here, like, you see, like, this one is, like, slightly... Like, I don't want you to be unevenly folded, but... Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's do this. Um, okay. Hold on. I need Dr. Croton's elevated music. It was like... This is not how his music goes, probably. <laughs> okay, so let's this set. Let's zoom in here. See if we can figure out which box is which. It actually is pretty easy. Okay. So this, if you want, if you would like to follow along at home, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can figure out which. Oh, it's it's they're labeled. They're labeled. Wait, I didn't show you the rest of them though. I'm being overwhelmed by options, and I'm only trying to show you guys stuff. This one is like all pearly things. I'm not going to open it up because it's really hard to see and I don't want them popping all out but like you can kind of see this one's like the burst design like a shattered glass design they're transparent I think this is kind of like an assorted one it's got a couple of smooth ones in there this one is like all oil slicks one and then this one is like weird patterns and then I'll show you again once I compare them to what is in the listing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I have arranged them as they are ordered. I didn't open this one for you guys yet, did I? This is number one. It's got a couple smooth hollows. It's got another... This is not the same dot pattern. This is not a random dot pattern. This is a, a more structured dot pattern. And a shattered glass one. So, on here, um, I'm gonna rate this, looks like eight out of 10. Like they're not all in the same order, but like, This show the the picture. Oh wait, no, there's that. Actually, okay, hold on here. Okay, they're uh, they're in a different order, but I think this the picture for number one actually shows exactly what's in here. So, check for number one. Number two. Okay, I don't have one of those. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> it's gonna be like, it's wrong. It's not. Okay, so there's that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Um. Is this supposed to be this one? And maybe that one, that one. Whoops, get back in there. No, that's supposed to be that one, and that's supposed to be that one. I'm gonna say this one is nine out of 10 correct, because I don't see this one, this yellow and blue ombre one, and there's like a, a red, yellow, and green shattery glass one that's in the picture. That I don't have. So this one is 9 out of 10 accurate. Right, there's 10 here, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is number 3. It 
it's hard to tell the exact patterns because the listing isn't like uh, high quality. The colors are a match. I got all the colors that they show in the picture here. Like I said, the, the patterns aren't completely a full match. Like between this, this and like, you know, this. But the colors are a complete match. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm actually kind of impressed. Because I've ordered foils before. And it's just a fucking crapshoot. Alright, this is number four. This is a really interesting box. But this is one of the ones that has a short... See how much shorter this is? I'm missing like a like a quarter inch here. Um, I, wa I wasn't really paying attention. There's a couple other ones like that where it's like naked eye. Obviously, that's not the length that it's supposed to be. This one, too, is shorter. See all that extra room that's in there? So, um, as far as matching what's in here, oh, man. This is... I feel like this is like such a low quality picture that it's hard to I don't immediately see this one or this one in the picture but they might like looking in there it looks like their design might change let's let's take it out and take a look oh so yeah, this one is on there then. It's got all that gold hidden under there. Get back in there. And then I bet this one is that one there. Um, I think I'm going to give this one a pretty spot on rating also. Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, these are like, you know, like abalone looking and I mean like pearls. Okay, box five. Will the camera, like, literally pick up anything here? Ooh, a little bit there. Okay, okay, okay. Hold still, Colette. This may be your only glimpse of what these look like. I, I, I'm assuming they're, like, very translucent and opalescent on the nail, and you can put them over whatever color, base color you want. Oh, come on, camera. Come through, camera. Yeah. Okay. Now, as you see, they're difficult to see. Like, they're discernible. As far as, like, matching these up exactly what's in the picture, I don't think I'm going to go there. I can say that they do all appear to be different. <laughs> But I'm not going to sit here and try and figure out which is which. And only a couple, like this one here, um, appear to be shorted. Like short, height-wise. Goofy packing job again, though. I'm trying to be careful closing it. Okay. This one, I already know this one is right. Because this was the one I really wanted. I was like, what if it doesn't have that orange that I like? So, this is 100% correct. Uh, number seven. Ooh, these are the oil slick ones. Probably going to be a little bit of a challenge to get the camera to... Oh, they're so reflective. What if we... Ooh. Oh! Oh! <gasps> yes! Okay. <laughs> I know this is not ideal. Um, <laughs> but if I do this, then it's invisible. Um, what if, oh, what if I do, oh, oh, like I'm having a brainstorm. What if I do like this? Yeah, kind of. Oil slick is basically what I'm trying to show you. And oil slick is what the picture shows you. And these are even harder than the white ones to discern really patterns. Maybe if you like unfurled them, you would see more. I mean, I can, I can tell a few differences, but it's a lot of oil slick basically. And then box eight, which also has another couple of the short ones. 
Um, <laughs> I just like God. So okay, not a huge fan of the packaging. I I already knew that when I ordered it. It's deal with a bowl. I'm just gonna complain about it. Um, accuracy is surprisingly good. Like for foils. In my limited experience, get in there. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Just, just get in there. Oh my god. <laughs> so, all in all, like really, really good for what they are. Like, like I said, they're smaller overall than most of my other foils. It's hard to tell. They don't look that long, but I mean, they're thin. They're looped around each other. I mean, these don't look that long necessarily either when they're when they're all rolled up like that. So, and I, I don't really want to unroll one of these and one of these to like compare lengths because no. That has been my haul and review of my new nail foils. So when we get around to playing with those, we got the 99%. And hopefully we'll be able to do, like, just fucking phenomenal things. I mean, it's the plan. Can these be by you, Benny? Maybe? Is that okay? Can I just, like, do like this? You see his tail? Hi, Benny. <laughs> okay. Um onward to the manicure we're going to the fair and stuff and so we are doing actual base coat hey caters yeah they do they're like use me now i'm sorry you can, i'm not i'm not using you now so let's let's get you guys zoomed in for one um da -dum -dum. now that we are done with the uh done with the uh haul such as it was i hope you guys enjoy it i think those are just going to be so much fun to play with they're they're not the highest I, I, are there high quality foils out there I kind of don't think there really are. Like, they're all kind of the same low low standard. And as far as that low standard goes, this, this particular set ex exceeded my expectations because it was as advertised. Um, yeah. I got like half a refund on one of my sets one time because they didn't state in the description that you would receive random uh, patterns. And I left him a bad review. I was like, buyer beware. They're like, we're so sorry. Please have refund. But I, th I think they still didn't like change their, change their description. Why would you not update your description? I wonder how you make them. I mean, like, they're, they're like, obviously something shiny adhered onto, like, plastic, basically. With some sort of protective coating on the other side that sometimes we rub away with successful results and sometimes we rub away the whole design <laughs> when experimenting with such things. So, Oh, the dip is starting to lift. Is it just the polish lifting off of the dip or is the dip actually lifting off of your nail? I 
I did take my nails a little bit shorter because I felt like probably I should. Not really because I wanted to. Also because the index nails were curving and they still are. I might have to go even a little bit shorter, but we'll see if, like if they kind of relax out a little bit now that I've trimmed them. Oh, he ditched us. Hello, poisonous. Okay. <laughs> okay, so a while ago I got this uh, base two, which is also an an unt product, and I like it quite a bit. So that's what we're going to be using, and we're going to be doing the wrap everything you possibly can method. <laughs> right like they weren't even touching him let's put this over here i want to put my elbow there you guys want to be a little closer okay um so yeah base coat black two coats of magnetic magnet applied on the second coat hollow top coat simple it actually is simple. I mean, all, all we're doing is painting. We're just doing a couple extra layers than what most people would bother with. And on base coat and top coat, I'm going to wrap all my edges in the entire underside of my nail for longevity. Hopefully. For hopeful longevity. That'd be a good band name. Ladies and gentlemen. I always think of that whenever there's weird word combinations. Cause some band name seems so random. It's like where did you where did you possibly come up with that? It's like randomly happened in conversation or what? So with the fair time of the year being here um not super sure what the weekday schedule is gonna look like um i mean i'd like to get in at least one or two weekday streams but um i'm not sure when my second trip to the fair is gonna be like first trip is planned to be monday although like it's looking like it might rain on Monday and it's like, or are we still going to do this? Like I can do the fair in the rain. You don't have to wait for anything cause nobody else is there. Um, but I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Until 9, 12. That seems so late. Ours is always like up through uh, Labor Day. It's like whatever the 10 days are before that. So it starts like on a Thursday and then it goes through that Monday. And I love the fair for anybody who does not know. I just, I really enjoy it. And so one year I went three times. That's almost too much. Like it's not really, but man. Like, it's exhausting going to the fair. It's a lot of walking involved and a lot of, like, actual people, which is exhausting for me. <laughs> yeah, I can end up... I mean, you. it depends on how much rain you're talking. The one thing I really like to have is, like, a big old visor so that my glasses don't get wet because I mean I could tolerate being wet for a while and I can deal with it whatever I'm gonna want to wash my hair after the fair anyway so I'm not spelling like barnyard animals but uh like a after a certain point like walking in wet shoes becomes super uncomfortable or like walking in wet clothes I mean you can get a poncho but a poncho is still not really gonna protect your shoes 
so I, I don't know how much I mean and there's buildings you can go in but then you're just even more crowded with people so I don't know we we shall see it is yet to be determined but the plan of course is to take pictures of all the fairs going on and uh, do like a little slideshow like we did last year yes the Minnesota State Fair the best state fair I'm not even lying it's like a known fact for anybody just joining us this is what we're gonna put on our nails in a minute here mm. and yes it really does look that phenomenal on the nail your state fair ended yet. apparently I'll take it that you're not a fair person son <laughs> Yeah. Lots of good food, lots of good people watching. Like I'm not I'm not a fan of crowds. Um and it's going to be crowded. <sighs> Beanie hairs everywhere. I I saw that there's already been a record set the first day. I don't know if there was a record set yesterday, but there's like I mean like a million people go every fucking day, a million plus. Um it's like what what did what did it say? 37 acres. A lot of food, a lot of, I mean, a lot of things. A lot of things. Literally once. Oh my God. Hey, Beanie. Welcome back. How you doing? How you doing? I'm glad you came back. Everybody thought you were mad about the nail foil sharing space on your chair. Hi there. <laughs> yeah i can imagine the radio people and stuff like that that are like work at the fair there's so much food i mean that's a huge part of it i have to admit all right starting out with black going in with one coat black because why not that'll at least save us from like i'm i'm not always like my black must be absolutely one coat opaque um but when you kind of just want to hurry it along it's kind of nice because we're already going to be doing two coats of the magnetic so if we had to do two coats of the black that would just be kind of tedious I saw that she said the restock is going to take a while. What am I going to do? No. I've got plenty of other blacks. But man, I really was looking forward to ordering some. Let's try and not be too messy here. What do you hear, Bane? Hmm. who knows cats sometimes it's like okay obviously that's a real thing other times it's like what are you even doing okay remember remember the stream which was it one of the last nail streams when he was under my desk and i was like beanie what is it later that day now i'm not positive but like this was a big ass spider and it ended up on the ceiling eventually and i was like oh my god is this what beanie was trying to get earlier except you failed beanie if that was what you were after because i ended up having to kill it myself like it was it, it was large it was large he no he's a good hunter he's not fully a house cat he's a good hunter but he didn't get if that was what he was after he didn't get that he his current delicacy of choice is that there's a ton of grasshoppers in my strawberry patch amory um <clears throat> and he'll go out there and catch and eat grasshoppers and sometimes share them with clark 
it's like they're both completely supplementing their pet food with all these grass i mean i'm not talking small grasshoppers these grasshoppers are large like they're getting a good amount of protein here <laughs> yeah Bean beanie is a good hunt there is a clip emray of me on stream being surprised by beanie bringing a mouse up here the thing is beanie wants to play with it instead of murder it and that's not okay like i wish he he's a good hunter i just wish he was more of a murderer is that horrible to say <laughs> god that was man yeah things you don't want to happen while live streaming that's that's probably my top that's that's top three of shit i don't want to happen during live streaming <laughs> Mm. Mm. Sniffs it and panics. Mm. Yeah, I think the only reason Beanie hurries up and eats the grasshoppers is because he's afraid Clark is going to come take it from him. But the thing is, like. <laughs> it's like i don't want to interfere with the natural order of things or whatever it's like i mean what am i gonna do when i'm outside in the garden and i see he's like you know about to make a meal of a grasshopper but like inside like there's too many places for this mouse to get away from you you can't like can't bring that up here and then not take care of business have the mouse living under my helmers <laughs> I mean I don't know how you would train a cat to like not play with their with their prey though I mean that's like cat 101 hello why can't we get some paint right there thank you I feel like this is nah nah <laughs> the pom pom balls. Okay, just about done with the black. Now, I think last time. I think I worked one hand at a time. Did like a first layer, then did the magnet. And then did the second hand or did I do both hands and then hmm. hey cow every day is cat day here <laughs> yeah beanie's not too bad with the tree um we did we didn't really have much of one last christmas because of the puppy well clark's i mean clark's not really a puppy anymore so hopefully this year we'll be able to have a christmas tree but uh weird things that cats like frisky used to steal my hair ties take them and put them in her food bowl and eat her food through the hair tie why i don't know Vanilla pound cake, lemon curd, Cannon River Grizz wine, and blueberry compote. More pound cake and Grizz and rhubarb. Rhubarb wool. Topped with mint infused whipped cream and Grizz and blueberry coulis. I think the thing that got me on that one was the rhubarb. Because I'm not a rhubarb fan. I might try it. It depends. Like, there's limited stomach real estate and there's limited money. I mean, I can't, I can't buy literally everything I want to try. Okay, so time to get started. Um, again, this is a fun lacquer, incredible. 
we got oh, camera. Whoa. So, yeah, and somewhere in there, whoop, there's the green. There's lots of colors happening. Hey, yo. You are here just in time for the good stuff. Well, al or maybe almost in time for the good stuff, because we're not actually to the magnetic part yet. I think I'll probably do the magnet in the same direction as I did last time. Because that was easy to, like, for the most part, replicate from nail to nail. And I think it looked good when I was done. And it was relatively, like, an easy position to hold for, like, the 20 seconds that I wanted to hold to set the magnet. Ooh, I'll need a I'll need a timer of some sort once we get to the magnet also. Are you guys getting some of the Ooh, there you get a little bit of it. That's like you're getting the orange to fuchsia color shift. It's cool. Cool things. Like multichrome is so fascinating. Like I understand in theory how it works. But it's still like, but how though? Kind of like fucking butterflies. Like, you, like, man, you ever see like a time lapse of the caterpillar turning into the chrysalis? That's some weird shit. Super weird shit. Hey, Basenji. Chocolate covered pickles. Um. I won't super knock it till I try it, but I won't say that it's something that I would super be reaching for or presented to. <gasps> a choice. Fuck, when did this happen? I, it's a. It's a. Uh, <laughs> but Cindy always comes in with the weird food combos alright we'll leave that like that we'll do the rest of these nails first and after I do the uh, the magnet I'll do clean up They have deep fried pickles at the state fair. I wonder if they offer a chocolate dipping sauce option. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. It's weird. It doesn't quite feel like it should be state fair time to me yet. And then the week after this one is also going to be weird as far as any kind of streaming schedule goes because I'm going to be in California. So I don't know. I'm going to be gone for four days. I haven't decided what I'm doing for my trip on my nails yet. I haven't decided if I want to do like a, a gel manicure just to be on the safe side. You know, maybe this will be a good wear test for how, how long I can get just a regular, regular manicure to last. Because I'll probably have this on until at least Wednesday. We'll see if we get any chipping or anything. Ooh, there's some of the yellow and green. 
Mm. Okay, so next step is magnet. Pickles are a sin against humans. <laughs> like pickles and chocolate or just pickles in general, Emre? <laughs> Yeah, there. I mean, there's lots of different kinds of pickles too. Um. Oh, I'm I'm half blocking beanies cam when I do that. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry, you guys. Blocking the beaniness. I I have to do it though, cause I'm gonna have to get this weird angle for the magnet. All right, we're doing a nice thick coat. I didn't get a timer up. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Now we're gonna have to count. We're gonna have to count like children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, my hands are shaky. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, fascinating content, I know, 19, 20. Oh no, I did it again to the pinky, poor pinky. Oh, look at that though. Look at this though, how do I keep fucking this poor nail up? Why? Eh, hopefully the magnetic will cover it. Okay, go like this, just like gently, gently smooth it out a little bit. I gotta be more careful holding the magnet. I remember bread and butter pickles. Dill, I like dill a lot. Like not just in pickles, like just generally. Okay. Oh no. God. I'm so distractible. I once again didn't open a fucking timer. I'm just going to count in my head this time you guys or it will be awkward. Five. It's awkward. Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. I'm trying to count slow. Nine. 10. I'm probably counting slower than like actual seconds. 11, 12, especially when I say stuff in between. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Oh, it's so worth it though. Ah, it's so good. Oh, 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 I love it. Okay. Let's get a timer up for this time. A little, little clocky clock. <clears throat> Can I move this? No, I can't move it. Mm. <laughs> I should. I should, Emery. I don't have it open. I just, I just opened up the clock so that it's bigger and I can see it. Okay. Nice thick coat. All right. Now the only challenge is just holding my fingers still and my hands still and not messing up my, oh my God, I did it on the index or not the, oh my God, the ring finger, the other nail ring finger, you guys. I guess this is maybe why I did one hand at a time last time because like handling this magnet apparently makes me a complete fucking klutz. Oh. It's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. These are so pretty though. Oh. camera 
Okay. We, we could get distracted doing that for quite a long time. Now, the magnet does, the, the magnetic uh, flare, or whatever you want to call it, does settle out a little bit. But I'm hoping by doing like a real, like, slow 20 seconds that I'm setting it pretty well. I mean, it still looks cool even once it's settled out. But keeping some sharpness to it is also cool. Hey, kittens. Yeah, we are playing with magnets again. Hey, Athelus. Yes. This is another one from the same collection. This is what it looks like, like pre-magnet. Let's see if we can get this, get this thumb decently. And hi, anyone else I may have missed. I'm trying to like read chat, but I'm also... Like, this isn't hard, but you do have to kind of pay attention. Or you could end up, uh, like, touching the magnet to your nail or something like that. Or just smudging something else. Especially when, like, I feel like my hands are a little bit shaky. I feel like I can see the magnet, like, trembling. So this ought to be particularly fun when we switch hands. I'm glad you like the Mathless. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like, do you guys see it? The, oh, come on camera. The ring finger held its magnet flare the most. Like it's dispersed the least. Can you, can you guys see the difference that I'm talking about? Ooh, there's a good shot. Like when I go kind of like that and you see kind of, it's more dispersed on the other two. And it's still quite sharp on the ring finger. I must have really done a slow count there. Maybe I should be aiming for more like 30 seconds. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I wasn't... See, this is... Whoa. Even like when I have the timer up, like I'm not being like super precise. Like, oh, from, you know, 30 seconds to 50 seconds, perfectly 20. It's like ish. But like looking at this, like those last couple seconds really do make a big difference. Like, especially, like, right there, you see, like, all that pink on the tip of the... And then this one is, like, very dark at the tip. They both... I mean, they're both cool. They're both cool, and they're not, like, oh, my God, your nails don't match. But I notice. How am I doing this? This nail is so bad. I like keep smudging it. Yeah, because I was counting and I was talking. I'm just going to do like that. And hope that the magnet covers it up. And hope that we don't smudge this hand while we're working. Oh no, it stuck to my Fitbit. I forgot about that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I can't keep it on that side. All right, let's glom it on, cover up all the mistakes, glom it on. All right, so let's try for more like 30. You know, that's also true, Kitty. Amethyst Kitty? Why did I call you Kitty instead of Amethyst? Because brain is concentrating on holding things straight instead of on people's names pronunciating. Or words coming out of my mouth, apparently. Gosh, brain. I feel like I'm not very close here. 
Yeah. I don't like that. Like, it's not tight enough. I need to get closer to the nail. So, how do we fix that? With another little coat of, of magnetic, that's all. And just try to get closer than I was. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Make a little. Oh, I touched it! I touched it! <laughs> oh, I, I just. Oh my god. And I, I. My brain forgot how long I'm supposed to be holding this. I forgot what it was at when I started. Now I'm just all. Just discombobulated! Okay, that's better than it was. Oh my god, there's a big dent in it though! <sighs> you know what? You know what? The hollow will make it invisible the hollow will make it invisible this is fine everything is fine everything is fine <laughs> this is fine let's let's try not to do any of that on this nail you guys watch the hollow will make it invisible Hollow for all your nail sins. Okay. Close, but not that close, clip. Okay, like that close. Oh my god. My hand is trembling. Okay, maybe it's not trembling that much. It feels like it's trembling so hard. I can't even see it when I look in the camera, though. And my one nail is touching the paper towel, but I'm hoping that it's dry enough that it's not a problem. Yeah, I have some like that too. Also, like depending on how your nail is like shaped or curved, it may or may not be super effective. Do you guys see these little fibers <laughs> from resting against the paper towel? Please get off. Please get off. Please, please go away. Where are my tweezers? And we didn't get a very good... Okay, I need to come up with a different way of handling this. And I need to get rid of this fuzz. Oh, and I need to not dent the polish with the tweezers. All these things. Like, it's really dispersed again. I mean, it's more dispersed than these ones over here that have already, like, been settling. Maybe I need to... Okay, I'm gonna try it like that. I'm gonna try it like that next. Okay, let's try this again. Thin coat. Hold this like this. This feels easier to hold. I think I'm closer than I was. Oh, this is so stressful. Oh my god, did I touch it? Oh my god. That one's just going to be imperfect. I don't want to redo it a third time. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's always gross. Amethyst. Yeah, I don't know. Is Hollow Knight making my hands more steady or less steady? Are they just shaking from exhaustion? Hopefully not, because it's Hollow Knight after nails. Because 106 owes me. 106 fucking did me dirty last night. We need revenge.
Okay. Be, be still like water. Calm like the fish. And determined like... I don't know. <laughs> I lost I lost my metaphor, you guys. I'm sorry. Mm, that one's better. Maybe at the end we'll go back and redo the ring finger. The ring finger's just like... Meh. <laughs> I mean, I was so close. Radiant did me Radiance did me so dirty. The sub 4 was there. The sub 4 was was touchable. It was it was within my grasp. so frustrating so so frustrating that whole run was frustrating though but at the end like it started getting hype but then like it just had to end on a frustrating note <laughs> that's not the greatest magnet either why am I having so much trouble with the right hand? I don't remember having this much trouble with the right hand last time, you guys. <laughs> Especially, it'll make you hungry for stuff you have no way of getting. It's not like reading about Taco Bell and getting hungry for Taco Bell. Okay, here. The last nail, technically, and then we'll see if we need to go back and give any others, like, some certain attention. Congratulations, Dutch. Those are both, like, no small feet. That one turned out good. Just makes the other ones look even dumber, the ones that aren't good. Okay, I'm trying this one one more time. Maybe I need to not keep my hand on the table for this hand. Although I'm nearly positive that's what I did last time. Mm. This nail's gonna be so much thicker than everybody else. fuck how do I even do this no I can't I have to have it on the table or I can't like find a comfortable angle I just need to do this better oh I touched it I touched it fuck we can still get a good rain or a good magnet but we touched it at least I know I'm really close Man, trying to hold something close to something and not touching something is such a pain in the butt. I'm not even joking. Like, it stands out of all the nails. As not as magnetic like how much is that gonna bother me realistically speaking yeah that's a bit much Like, a part of me wants to add, like, more to this one and try again. But, like, it's already got, like, two or three extra coats compared to everybody else. I think I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. Or is that too much, like, giving up? I 
I be I better leave it. I better leave it. And hope that the hollow covers it up. <gasps> Apparently, the universe doesn't want this to happen. Let's just start fucking over on this nail. God damn it. The universe won't allow me to settle. No! I'm not doing the lick trick. Which is more accurately like the spit on your finger trick. But that doesn't sound, that doesn't like almost rhyme. Alright. We'll, we'll just redo this. It's fine. We'll start cleaning up on the other nails while we're waiting on layers in between to dry. Oh, okay. I'm over it. It's for the best. It really probably is. It really probably is. <laughs> also, did I say hi, Musical? You've arrived at a very turbulent time. We're needing to take a moment, a patented moment here, and just like start over <laughs> on this nail. Oh, God. Okay. Let's just get with the base coat, the regular ass base coat. Wrap our wrap our undies. I mean, maybe not. We're gonna do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Famous last words. It was then that she realized, no. <laughs> Just be careful forehead <laughs> he really does pick on certain people each day it's not you guys' imagination I don't think I don't know if it's like intentional or not but like every day there's like a person or two that he just like can't help himself I talk about him like he's a person. I mean, obviously, Butt Spot is a bot. I don't know if that's something that's actually in the program, but it sure does seem like it. All right, so we're making everything beauteous around the edges, and then we're going to be redoing this one nail that just wouldn't cooperate for the world and hope that we can get, like, a decent magnet out of it this time. I mean, that's what started the whole problem. Some people just are not a fan, <laughs> which I understand. I mean, I knew that when I had it. I was like, some people are going to hate this a lot, but you can uh, opt out of butt spot. Um, I forget how, though. I, I almost even feel like I made a command about how to do it, and I don't remember what the command is. Ooh, these squeaky tops. Okay, so starting out again with a coat of black.
Got some weird things happening with this brush a little bit. Excuse me, brush. Okay, that's not like the smoothest application ever, and I don't care. <laughs> no, it's something like, like butt spot ignore or something like that. Oh, there we go. Sun. Sun is best mod today. Butt spot. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the butt plug. Well, and butt spot is customizable. Emery's butt spot says heck. Which I which I quite enjoy. The heck spot. Oh, look at those nice rounded cuticles. Just makes everything appear to be fine. Horrible manicure? Fake everybody out. Make your cuticles super neat. Nobody will notice. Nobody will notice anything wrong. Camera. Am I gonna have to okay. Let's see, am I going to need to turn off the autofocus? It has been really cooperating quite well today. All things considered. Yeah. Um, so, like, the pinky also... It's actually settled out quite a bit, but you can see the ding there. I touched the magnet to the pinky... And, uh, it hasn't been too bad, really, but I'm just, my hands feel really shaky, and I'm having trouble, like, holding the magnet close enough without, and the pinky was dinged before I did the final layer of magnetic, but that mostly covered up that ding, but then I dinged it again. We're, we're in the home stretch now, though, you guys. This will be good. Oh, and you guys know what? You guys know what? You know that big old thick bee I showed you guys yesterday? He is still hanging around. I don't know what's up. I don't know if he's okay. He's still moving around. He's like slow, but he's like still exactly where he was before. Just like taking a sweet time with that sedum. We also, at the beginning of stream music, y'all, we looked at, uh, I got some new nail foils, which I'm, I'm quite pleased with. They, uh, they actually match their Amazon listing, which I feel like is so rare for nail foils to actually, you get what is pictured on the, on the listing. Is this, that's like almost dry so someday after the fair and after my trip we're gonna like definitely play you know of course I don't have to necessarily wait to do the testing need to play with the 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol that we got and see how that works and then I've got like way more foils with which to play I'm pretty reasonably priced too. Okay, so there were eight packages and eight, each package had 10, right? So that's 80 foils. Even if they are smaller than my other usual rolls, that's only like 25 cents of a, a roll. Maybe a little bit more than that. It was like around $20. I forget exactly. And it wasn't Amazon Prime, but I believe it was free shipping, which is, you know, I can be patient if I have to. 
<laughs> I will give you guys some, uh, you know what, maybe we should have some now. I'm just remembering that the, uh, the janky flashlight actually works quite well for the magnetic polishes. Pol polishes? Maybe I'll do a coat and then give it just a minute to dry while we play with the flashlight. Okay. So good. Schnew, schnew, schnew. Okay. Let's get that out and get this back open. It's a uh, fun lacquer, incredible, and it's. It's like from pink into like orange into gold into at certain angles you get a green. It's, it's, it's pretty fantastic. I'm hoping that the flashlight will show you guys some more. It's a little lumpety. We'll work it out. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah. Mm. Getting a lot of that gold. Camera, please focus. Not as much of the green. Can I get... Ooh, there's a little... There's like a brighter yellowish tone. I can't get it quite like a low enough angle to quite capture the green. But that does give you quite a bit of the yellow and goldiness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Nisi. That, that, that's what we're working on <laughs> at the moment. Um, okay, so let's... This is the moment, you guys. This is the moment of truth. Nice thick layer. Then we just want to hold it closely for 30 ish seconds. As close as we can. Mm. We won't know if we're doing it good until it's over. Oh, I hope this was worth it all. I mean, we, we smeared the hell out of it, so we didn't really have a choice. <sighs> there we go. Yee! We did it! Now it's like the best nail on this hand. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well. Well. Sometimes it be like that. It's a, it is it's gorgeous. I can't be mad that it turned out so good. Oh. It'll it'll settle out a little bit too by the time we're by the time we get around to sealing it all in with like top coat and everything. But that's way better than it was like before. I don't know. I just must not a uh, I don't know. I wasn't getting the magnet close enough or I was angling it at some kind of weird angle where it just was not cooperating very well.
Yeah, these are these are swoon worthy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is partly the like the curvature because both of the index nails have kind of the same presentation. Probably settle out a little bit more like what you see over here. Like this one is a little bit overly dispersed. Of course, that's another one of my nails that tends to curve a little bit. I wish I, I wish I knew which it was, or maybe it's a combination of both. Like, is it my technique? Is it my nail shape? Or is it both? Would be excellent information to have. So I'm doing just a little tad bit more cleanup. Um, around the chubby side walls. And then we're going to add the hollow flaky hollow um, so we can still see a lot of the magnet coming through and but it's like a little bit more impact than like the scattered would be well, I, might, I might need the cell phone flashlight for this but this might be able to there we go that's what we're putting on top Okay. <laughs> I haven't. Partly because I'm doing hollow taco in between layers. But also, yeah, because I'd be afraid. Like, the top coat has to smooth out all the errors from before. I can't risk... Uh, waiting that long. Or try, trying to do that again. Plus, blah, blah, blah. blah. I can't even talk. Why did I pick today to fuck with magnets? I, I don't know if, like, especially now, like, these are pretty dry. Like, if they would still at all. I'd, I'd have to do it, like, more, like I was talking about, doing it one hand at a time. This one does actually seem very similar to this one, which we held, we did a really long hold on, and the tip stayed very dark. You know, compared to... Like we were looking at earlier, like some of the others on the left hand. They're, they all look good though. Like I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Zalorian, thank you for the host. <clears throat> some fence repair. That does not sound like fun, but I hope it all goes smoothly. Can I have a mod do a shout out? Is Amethyst or Sun still here? That's true, Musical. Do you think it would still do it even with how? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Stop tempting yourself into, into temptation. <laughs> hmm. All right. We are, we're going to put some scattered. Thank you, son. Some scattered hollow taco on here. Shnoom. Shnoom. whoa I almost whoa whoa I'm knocking all things over okay like I want to be not too heavy-handed but generous if that makes sense with the flaky oh it is an O I've, I've definitely done that. Hopefully not actually to Zalorian. Whoa. We're getting messy here. In fact, I might need to do a little bit more cleanup once I'm done with this. Just to not have it like super glommed everywhere. There we go. Ah, Hearthstone again. Is that one a little heavier coverage than the pinky? I think it is. I need to be careful. I don't want quite that much coverage. Hmm. 
more like that. Can I like actually? No, that's that is what it is. Can you guys see the difference between like the ring finger, which is like a slightly heavier coverage, and then like the middle finger and the pinky? Gotta not glom quite as much as I glommed there. <clears throat> the mag I, the magnetic is just so freaking amazing it makes me want to buy more and wear more and like with the hollow floating on top of it it just adds to the depth this probably won't work I probably need the camera flashlight oh it does a little bit I, I like it that it, it I like them both ways but I really like the last one with the hollow especially outside <clears throat> like in natural light and in sunlight I was tempted to try the linear but I just like the, the flaky so much that I ended up reaching for that one instead And I've got one more from this collection that I would like to wear. Where'd it go? This one, it's very like fall tones duochrome. Camera, you are such a hater. Maybe that one I'll leave on its own. It depends too, like how clean of a of a magnetic thing I get. If I get a really clean magnet, that would be a really good excuse to leave it bare. Whereas if I have some flaws that I want to cover up, like with this one, then the hollow definitely helps with that. Like the pinky, you totally can't see that divot in the pinky anymore. It's gone. It's hidden under a flaky. Um, this other one is uh, Harmony. And, ooh, there's a good shot of it. And then it goes into like... Out of, out of the three that I have, I would say this one is the closest to being up your alley music gal. Like, can you see the, the green flash in there? In the corners? <sighs> Camera's not cooperating, but... And the first one that I did, did you see this one? This uh, like turquoise and purple one is Believed. And the one I'm using right now is uh, Incredible. So they were, all, they were all part of the same uh, the collection. I think it said fourth anniversary. I wasn't reading that part, but I kind of like saw it. <clears throat> yeah. A little, little bit more fall, but also still just really pretty. They're all, they're all really pretty. Like I'd had magnetics before this, but they weren't multi-chrome like this. And the multi-chrome with the magnetic just adds like a whole nother layer of personality. Okay, I'm going to do just a slight amount more cleanup here. Um, make sure I don't get any glitters like down in my sidewall. From the flaky right there and then we're going to finish off with Sechevite and then we are going to attempt our revenge on 106 uh, for those of you who were not here last night I had the sub 4 hour current goal time within my reach and then I died to radiance and I went from being 11 minutes ahead to only like 9 minutes and something ahead. And I went from having my sub 4 hour run to not having my sub 4 hour run. And I was sad. 
something you like literally if you do not speed run like when i was like just a viewer i was like oh man they had a gigantic pp why are they so mad i get it now i understand I could still try to be that positive viewer when I'm in chat, but man, I 100% understand now because man, this is such a bogus PB that I got. Just like the last one was super, super bogus. And the one before that too. I haven't had a PB that I've been happy with recently, unfortunately. But today that changes because today we're going to get that sub for y'all. And of course, it's always helpful and good luck to play video games with awesome nails on. So the fact that my nails are now awesome actually increases my chance of PB. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. And if you're like, what is all this talk? I'm talking video games. Because that's what else goes on here when we're not doing nails. I actually, since I only end up doing nails like twice a week, like there's actually more games here than nails. Unless we're like super, super being testy or stuff like that. Of course, that m will change. Once, once we start the Swatch project in the nebulous future one day, eventually, somehow, I hope. <laughs> No, it'll happen. The Swatch Project will happen. Nightmare King and Coliseum of Fools took me a long old time, Dutch. Like, those were the two things that for a long time kept me from running 106 because I couldn't do them then I got Nightmare King first and then finally call CMO Fools. Yeah, getting strong galaxy vibes on this one too, even though the colors aren't as strongly galaxy, but there are like pink nebulas and shit in outer space. And I'm just going to glom the absolute hell out of this. Yeah, protect it on the underside because we're trying to wear this as long as possible although I didn't mean to glom it quite that much at the cuticle I'll confess just wanted to seal it in not to cup overfloweth and of course like the flakies are like a tad um, of a more gritty texture like they don't lie fully flat so they can use a good glomming of top coat <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Okay. And the underside like really helps just to protect your nails extra more. It's like wrapping the tips to the nth degree. And especially if you're going to be like possibly exposed to water, which huh, I might be hiking around the fair in the rain. Um among other things. But I'm just hoping that this will give me a really long lasting Manny. Because I've gone to the fair with peel off base coat before. And you guys know I hate losing peelies. I, I've, for, I've for sure left peelies on the fairgrounds. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that this year. I think I learned my lesson last year. I'm pretty sure I just had a regular manicure. Mew? Did we get a Mew? From Bainey? Did you Mew? He's knocked out. I see his ears moving, but... He doesn't care enough to move any other part of his body, apparently. You so sleepy, Bainey? What you been doing today? 
All that hard work catching grasshoppers, man. I'm so honestly surprised there's any grasshoppers left in our yard between him and Clark. Oh. Mm. I see your ears moving. I see your eyes blinking. A blap. Blap. Put your tongue in your mouth. It's just like the smallest little blap. Benny, put your tongue in your mouth. Your tongue gonna get all dry. I mean, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Did you guys see it for a split second? He finally put it back in his mouth. No, you don't want to sniff me. I smell like nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> Like he just forgot what he was doing mid mid pulling his tongue back into his mouth. All right. <clears throat> what time? Okay, it's quarter after four. A part of me is regretting that I did not like go out and grab something for me to just be able to easily grab for dinner later, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The plan is to do an amazing 106 run and then eat some dinner and then do something else that is as yet to be determined. Like maybe a rando. I feel like it's been a really long time since I did a rando. We started that one the other day and then we like didn't finish it. Because I wasn't feeling it. Hey doubtful. Very galactic. Very galactic. And it's multi-chrome. It's different colors at different angles. It's hollow. We're about to have some flashlight time in a second here and it's going to blow your mind. And it's going to be on for a while, too, because we're using regular base coat. Oh, my God. Hey, Trey Lala. We are, we are close to wrapping up the nails, but I was just saying we are not close to wrapping up stream. Um, I'm going to go into Hollow Knight after we finish the nails here. The nails are really pretty phenomenal, though. Get that little edge. Oh, it's so good. Alright, and I don't think I really need any cleanup here. There's maybe a little bit on the edges, but that'll just naturally peel up. Okay, where's my cell phone? Let's use this. And go here and here. Let's turn off this. And here it comes. Here it comes, y'all. It just look God the gold from the from the cell phone flash is just popping and the hollow is like super popping ooh so that's like what's going on with this polish <laughs> like for real you guys <sighs> I 
could sit here and just look at this all day long. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. These color shifts are ridiculous. It's so good. Yeah, I can't believe Dino missed this. Well, she'll she'll have to check out the VOD. Yeah, it's like the hollow's moving and then the magnetic is moving and then the multichrome is moving and you've got like these three motions. And then the light is moving and then you've got four motions and then everything is crazy. Okay. Actually, I don't really need to turn that back on, do I? Cuz we're about to we're about to switch scenes up in here. Um, let's see. Actually, this could come off. I had this out from earlier when I was doing the peelies. So, let's carefully put the camera away. As I am dry, but not, I think, 100% dry yet. As I mentioned, we're going to be switching to a uh, game, so that's what I'm going to start moving things around for. And changing lighting and doing doing the things that require it to be done 